Hello everybody and welcome back to the Travis Produce YouTube channel. So today, I am heading to my Uncle Adam's house right now and we're working on the planner. Right now is a really cool time for me. Uh, I just got done talking to my Uncle Adam and he thinks that if I was to fix up an old six row planner we have back here, that uh, I could make a good planner out of it and possibly plant all of me and dad's acres this year which uh, it'd be a really neat experience and I'm really looking forward to it. But now I just gotta find a tractor that I can uh, hook up to the planter with and bring it back to our shop. And I'm gonna be working real hard on that. I think what we're planning on here is getting a monitor for it. And once we get a monitor for it, then uh, it's, it should be a really accurate planter. I'm going to grab the tractor and I'll meet you guys back over at the planter. You guys know, but last year, dad and my brother and I all bought a F2 gleaner and the thing it's not the best combine but it's a really nice combine honestly gets the job done how we like it we're gonna either try to make this a six row corn head for the gleaner F2 or even uh, make our planter a four row so uh, it's a neat experience all right guys so I got the planter hooked up to my tractor and I can already see a problem Right here is all rusted out, super, super bad. All this is corroded up here. This was uh, used to be a fertilizer box for the planter. And uh, as you can see in there, it's all corroded out. Problem was is the lid broke off and somebody had put a salt block in the back. They put the salt blocks in the back for more weight. And uh, anyways, it just got wet, like there's a salt block here. Me and Logan just got this planter all washed up a few minutes ago. As good as we could get it right now, just so we can work on it a little bit. Logan's moving around the little tractor because we got more row units in the back of that that uh, trailer over there. And we're gonna go ahead and put the row units on. Dad's working on some tile lines, and uh, I'm gonna move the planter over there now. going on now we have both the new row units or not new just the other row units that we're going to put on here this usually is a six row planter but uh we're changing it down to uh, four row because that's what the gleaner combine takes but uh now we are taking all these wires here as you can see and me and logan are just going to take them all out uh we're going to have all new wires they're pretty well shot as you can see here but uh they go down here to the seed tube that i'll show you in a, in a little while yeah, but like I said, salt block rushed all that out. Um, it still moves up and down, but I just don't have anything to fix that. With me now, I have the WD-40 Specialist Rust Release Penetrate Spray, and I'm just going to spray it here on these bolts. Just let it kind of soak down in there. Hopefully, over time, that'll loosen up those a little bit. I can only tell a big difference just by lifting that up. But I'm just going to let those sit in there a little while. And uh, the closing wheels are still shutting well. But uh, they might need to be adjusted a little bit. Because as you can see, they're just a little bit off center. But uh, the depth wheels, they move up and down. This one's full of snow. So I'll have to work on that in a second here. Get that all freed up. And then Logan's power washing the gator. And then... We're gonna mount these things together and uh, that'll be pretty much it for right now. So my Uncle Clint left these big boxes chunk full of seed. And so right now, I am scooping the seed out of the boxes, dumping it into this five gallon bucket. So me and Logan, uh, we're working on these plates here. Logan's screwing them back in right now. But anyways, this backing comes off and it, it'll lead to this uh, rubber um, lining that helps with singulation. And then clean that out. And then we took this piece off. And it, back in there, I doubt you can see it, but 
with little pieces that catch the seed. We cleaned those out and cleaned out the inside, oiled it up real nice, and then dried it off. Now Logan's screwing those back on. We got to put them back on the hoppers. I got the seed tubes out, as you can see here, and um, we're going to go and get new seed tubes from me and Logan from John Deere tomorrow. Got to get four more new seed tubes ordered. We got to grease these chains up. So far, the chains are looking okay. This one looks fine. They don't have really much rust down through them. Uh, the depth wheels, they're, they're all nice and working now. Got the snow out of that one. Pretty much what we got to do is just grease down everything, lubricate everything. Uh, we got to put more air in a few of these tires. We got to figure out why this tire doesn't want to drop down very low. And then uh, it'll be at the point where we got to go and take this out to the field and test it out. So we've got a lot done. And there's still a little bit more to get done, but we're almost done for today. Hey, and welcome back to day two of uh, me and Logan working on the planter. In the back, you can see we have a lot of parts in the back, and uh, half of them are from my Uncle Adam uh, for the big planter. We're gonna head up there and work on the big planner once we're done with the little planner. And uh, yeah, pretty much today is just messing with the little planner, getting it to the point where it's gonna work. Me and Logan might have to travel after a monitor. It's still uh, still up on the fence for that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on today. Hmm. I wonder what the best place to buy seed for my pumpkin patch this year is. Hmm. Hmm, what? What's this in my hand? Rup? Rup? Rup seeds? Wait a second. All joking aside, Rup Seeds has been a great company to work with these last few years. I talked to them this year about a sponsorship, potentially, and uh, they were all for it. I've always been buying their seeds for as long as I've been doing Travis Produce uh, professionally, and... Let me just tell you, if you're wanting some good seeds that have great treatment on them and uh, they go into the ground, they shoot themselves up and just all around just great seeds, go to Rep Seeds. I'll leave a link in the description to go straight to their page and tell them Connor Travis from Travis Produce sent you. Alright guys, so what me and Logan got done last night is we mounted the two other row units onto there and what needs to happen today is we need to go take this uh, closing wheels off the other row unit replace it still debating on replacing this whole row unit i don't think i will but i'm debating on it uh we have another spring over here that still needs to be connected we got a whole bunch of these tensioners as you can see here that go on drive wheels right there and uh we got to mount those they're for the drive chains pretty much it's just mounting chains oil and chains getting stuff ready at this point uh we got to go through the other two row units um we went through as you guys saw the first part, we went through that one and that one. Now we need to go through this one and the one over there. Always using that WD-40. Always using WD-40 whenever we have to get stuff done. Actually, speaking of WD-40, whenever you're at Baumgars, you got to get a new can of WD-40. This is WD-40 Easy Reach multi-use product with the flexible straw. is one of the best products we've used here on the farm. There's Dad heading off to work. But he's not working near as hard as me and Logan here with our WD-40 products. Also, if Mountain Dew wants to sponsor us, you're more than welcome to. That's all we drink out here on the farm. And Dodge. Dodge can sponsor us too. And John Deere. You know what? If you want to sponsor us, I'm sure we'll buy your product. So let's begin. So here are these nice chains, guys. Made for our planner. I just got to open them. Hey, do you have a knife on you? I don't. Oh, man. What, are we ever, what would we ever do in this situation? Wait a second. Rep Seeds Incorporated. Ooh, yeah, look at how easy that cut that was. On a scale of 1 to 10, how easy and, and satisfying was that cut? 12. Definitely 12. Definitely 12. Guys, all the stuff that I've done with this planner is pretty much pointless. Uh, just got a call from Dad. He said that he doesn't feel like this is a good idea for our corn, and he feels like it's not going to work how we're going to want it to. So that's a crapper. Uh, we put a lot of work into this thing just to realize now that we uh, aren't going to be using it. 
We're probably going to go ahead and get the row units on. Uh, we're not going to be doing anything, any more work to this, though. Uh, what, what, How it is right now, we're just going to bolt back together the parts that were bad. I'm uh, going to let them deal with it. But for right now, this thing's done with, I guess. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Always stay tuned for more to come. Thanks for watching.